So a bit of a different view today. All dressed up to kill. No, just kidding. Um, I have my plate here and uh, the straight edge here. That's uh, how I work uh, at present. I've used another plate but found out that this was a little bit um, low in the middle. So thereby ending up with a straight edge a little bit high in the middle. So when um, the solution or part of the solution becomes part of the problem. I have a plate here which um, is uh, okay really. Uh, okay enough for roughing. I mean for rough measurements. But I forgot that um, by the very nature of how it's uh, uh, sitting, uh, it was a little bit hollow in the middle. It's uh, way down here, so I'll just raise it up. I'm using this plate because my other plate is occupied. And um, you can see this is uh, nicely ribbed and it has uh, three point contact sitting on. But of course, uh, it's well, to put it um, uh, simply, it's way too far out. It should be here and here and here to even out the weight of the casting itself. Uh, I guess that it was planed uh, and uh, or machined, I mean, and, um, and ground, uh, of course, in some way so that they proved it flat, but at least uh, I am pretty certain that the way this is now S sitting, standing, or uh, well, being that is going to sag in the middle. Thereby, when you measure across, it will going to measure as a, being hollow in the middle. Thereby, hitting only on the ends. I'm using this straight edge now also just as a. Um, and so really if you go very very uh, fine on this I guess this also sags as we've proven on the other plate that a camelback is far superior than just uh, like this bridge type uh, but anyway you can see so um, it would have been better if I um, uh, started on the other plate which I now have, have moved to but still this is flat to within at least uh, one hundredth of a millimeter or may, maybe down to even uh, some part of that so it's four tenths to maybe down to two tenths also but anyway as you can see you you can see it's high in the middle no uh, it's all hollow in the middle sorry for the mickey mouse uh, angle here but uh, i wanted also to Emphasize that in fact you can uh, get different results if you have this hollow in the middle then not by much but uh, that is true but if you then place uh, somewhat shorter than in this case a straight edge on and uh, you prove it all right here because it conforms you can scrape it so then it will not conform like this not so much so it should be uh, telltale if you just keep attention to what you're doing that you, the, your your print does not match. So from from um, from session to session, if you just don't put it ex in exactly the same spot, so just pay attention. And if you see some ah oh, mismatch, the print doesn't really make any sense any longer. Okay, check the plate then. And this is of course as opposed to this beam here where I've intentionally then put three points on so it will even out the weight. Um, this is now in balance so to speak. Therefore having used it a little bit too, too far you can say on the straight edge that straight edge became high in the middle. That was no disaster really. Now I'm almost out again, but and since I know it's it was flat really to the other plate, all down high in the middle, I have no not so much left. But anyway, uh, 
keep in mind all this because it's easy to make mistakes. So this plate is, um, I'm talking um, uh, thousands of, uh, of a millimeter here, but anyway, using this plate, um, just try not to get any swarf here, of course. It has functioned okay. Now, this is how I do it when uh, at this stage. And uh, as I say, I'm a practical man. Functions like a charm. And then I do crosses. Keep in mind the way I hold it, like a baby as Richard says, the height could be a bit better, but anyway, and then I hold it horizontally so I get the correct angle and then use crosses and then don't do like this or even like this. You get all sorts of problems with the, with the let's say, attitude control and uh, this is the way I do, I've learned swinging on the, in the hips like this to keep the it flat and avoid uh, making scratches which i have avoided until now so um i guess i could have concentrated more just on the middle but um <coughs> anyway uh just wiping off there's not a really a lot this stage uh, of the material taken off and I have been there also so I know it's flat really just stone lightly wipe off blue up here Wipe off, because now you can feel every bit, see, and then do this, of course. And then also notification, one stroke that way. Lift off. Listen, yeah, hinge, still a little bit high in the middle, it sort of, yeah, there, it should have been here, it's there, it should have been there, so a little bit high in the middle still. We'll just work on that. You could relieve it also, just take that section. Don't bother with this so that this is clear. And the way to do that of course of course just to decide okay where was it? It hinged there. So then say that we take everything away and it hinged there. So just don't take that, so to avoid making any mistakes, do it like this, and I want to take the middle part. So it was straight edge scraping. 